Park Shin-hee has accomplished everything. Her versatility as an actress is certainly a force to be reckoned with, and her charming looks have captured the hearts of viewers all over the world. Her support is so big that she has an official fan club, and her fans refer to themselves as Starlight Angels. She's also done two Asia tours and a global tour. Here is the story of Park Shin-hee. Park was born on February 18, 1990, in Gwangju. She has an older brother, Park Shin-won, a guitarist and composer. When she was 11 years old, her family moved to Seoul. Park initially harbored dreams of becoming a police officer when she was young, an ambition inspired by a burglary at the family home while she was in elementary school. However, the young Park had many interests, among them singing, dancing and playing the piano and guitar, and it was acting that she eventually settled on, although she has from time to time displayed her other talents on screen. After relocating to Seoul, she started attending Youngba Girls High School, where her sixth grade English teacher encouraged her to audition for Lee's Dream Factory. She was accepted and then underwent formal training in singing, dancing, and acting under his supervision at Dream Factory. She made her debut in 2003 at the tender age of 13 as the main female lead in the music video Flower by Lee Sung Hwan, but her big break came when she took on the role as the child version of main character Han Yung Soo in the classic Korean drama Stairway to Heaven. In 2006, Park was cast in her first adult leading role in the South Korean Japanese melodrama Tree of Heaven, where she received praise from critics for her performance. In 2007, Park made her film debut in the movie Evil Twin, a horror film where she portrayed two roles, one as the main character and the other as the ghost of the main character's sister, who haunts the other sister after her death. In 2009, Park gained recognition after starring as a cross-dressing heroine in the romance comedy music drama You're Beautiful alongside Jane kun -suk. Despite average ratings in South Korea, the series gained a cult following and earned high ratings in Japan. She released the song's Lovely Day and Without Words for the drama's original soundtrack. In 2010, Park starred in the low-budget romantic comedy film Cyrano Agency, which revolved around a dating agency that helps its customers win the hearts of the people they desire. The sleeper hit became a critical and commercial success, attracting 2.7 million ticket sales nationwide, becoming the eighth best-selling film of the year. Park won the Most Popular Actress Award in the film category at the Bexing Arts Awards. Park also voiced the main character of the animation film Green Days, Dinosaur and I, which premiered at the 15th Busan International Film Festival and received positive reviews. Since then, she has starred in other great works like Heartstrings, Hate the Combat Butler and My Cute Guys. In 2013, Park featured in the comedy drama film Miracle in Cell No. 7, which became one of the highest grossing Korean films. She went on to win the Best Supporting Actress Award at the 33rd Korean Association of Film Critics Awards. To celebrate her 10th anniversary as an actress, Park held the 2013 Park Shin-hai Asia Tour, Kiss of Angel in four Asian countries, becoming the first actress to hold a tour spanning across Asia. The same year, Park co-starred alongside Lee Min-ho in The Airs, a teen drama written by Kim Moon suk The Airs enjoyed immense popularity both locally, with a peak rating of 28.6%, and internationally, having over 1 billion cumulative views on the Chinese streaming website iQiyi. Park experienced a surge in popularity domestically and internationally, and became a Hallyu star. She was given the Popular Foreign Actress Award at the 2013 Anhui TV Drama Awards. In 2014, Park played the role of the Queen in the historical film The Royal Taylor. The same year, Park starred in Pinocchio opposite actor Lee Jong suk playing the heroine of the drama which has a chronic symptom called Pinocchio Complex, breaking into violent hiccups when she tells lies. Pinocchio became a hit, earning an estimated 5.62 million US dollars for broadcasting rights in just one year. With the airs at the end of 2013 and Pinocchio in 2014, she was included in Forbes Korea's Korea Power Celebrity List, where she placed 33rd. In the same year, NBC's Section TV Entertainment Relay dubbed her nation's little sister. 
Park also received the Prime Minister's commendation at the Korea Popular Culture Awards for her contribution to Hallyu. In 2016, Park made her small screen comeback in SBS medical drama Doctors, and then starred in dramas like My Annoying Brother, Heart Blackened, Memories of the Alhambra, and Alive. The same year she did Alive, in 2020, she starred in the thriller film The Call, which revolves around two women living in different time periods who are connected through a mysterious phone call. If you haven't watched I highly recommend it, it's one of my favorite movies. In 2021, Park starred in the time travel thriller drama Sisyphus, The Myth. Since then she hasn't acted. It's all because she got married and now has a baby. The dating rumors between Park Shin-hee and Choi Tae-joon came up in 2017. Because of a video that showed their vacation with friends, Shin-hee and Tae-joon set the internet on fire and netizens at that time claimed that they're in a relationship. And they both attended the same university as well. One year later, both Shin-hee and Tae-joon's agencies announced that they're a bona fide couple. Based on reports, the two started dating in late 2017 and they love spending time with each other at Shinny's place. They would also go on dates with their acquaintances and Taejun's friends know about their romantic relationship. On November 23, 2021, it was announced that Park was pregnant and preparing for marriage with Choi. They got married on January 22, 2022, in the presence of friends and family in a church ceremony in Seoul. She gave birth to their first child, a boy, on May 31, 2022. Shin Hee described Choi as her source of support for a long time who embraced her shortcomings. On the other hand, Taejun said, She is like a savior to me who taught me without words to smile brightly when I'm happy and to cry out loud when I'm sad. Nowadays, she does some modeling in CFS, but the majority of her time she spends with her baby and her husband, which is understandable. I do wait for her comeback, but I don't want her to rush as her son is still very young. Park describes herself as an ordinary person. She credits this ordinariness with her ability to immerse herself in a variety of roles, seeing herself as a blank slate that can be easily molded to fit different characters. This was the story of Park Shin-hee. Are you also waiting for her comeback? Thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions for a next video, please leave in the comments.